Welcome to the second day of your notes. Okay, we're going to fill out our table of contents. It's going to be page three, or page, excuse me, seven, definitions, continued. So go ahead, you will need a uh, blue pen today. Go ahead and turn to page seven. I put my page six up here. Page seven is going to go over here. Today's date is the 15th. Okay. And our objective for today. is to create conditional statements, converses, inverses, and contrapositives. So, what is a conditional statement? It is a if then statement where the if is the hypothesis and the then is the conclusion. So an example of this might be if um, if I like math then I will become an engineer. So, let me grab my red pen real quick. And then, uh, I'll show you which part is the hypothesis here. And which part is the conclusion. So then there's, there's more to this beyond conditional statements. We can get into a converse. Oh, I did that in blue, sorry. A converse, which is where you switch the hypothesis. and conclusion. So if we go back to our example, I like if I like math then I will become an engineer. The converse of that would be if I become an engineer then I like math. We can have a negation and a negation just puts a not 
in front of our statement. So an example might be, I like math. And the negation would be, I do not like math, which isn't true. Um, so once you have the negation, we can talk about the inverse. And the inverse adds a not to the hypothesis. and conclusion of a conditional. So going back to our example, if I do not like math, then I do not become an engineer. So going back to that original statement, I just put a not in the hypothesis and a not, excuse me, a not in the, the hypothesis and a not in the conclusion. The last type of statement that we can make is a contrapositive. That's where we switch and negate the hypothesis and the conclusion. So going back to our example, the conclusion was I become an engineer. So if I do not become an engineer, then, right, and our previous hypothesis was I like math, then I do not like math. So the cool thing about the contrapositive is it will always have the same truth value as the conditional statement. So if the conditional statement is true, the contrapositive will also be true. If the conditional statement was false, then the contrapositive would also be false. That doesn't work with the converse or the inverse. It only works with the contrapositive. That's it for notes. Have a great night. I'm sure you guys can see them all.